So it's amazing to think that just yesterday, uh, President Biden hosted a bill signing ceremony in the White House, declaring Juneteenth a national holiday. 156 years after the last group of enslaved Americans were informed by the army that two years prior, the Emancipation Proclamation had been signed by President Lincoln. And so we're out here today in the second supervisorial district in Magic Johnson Park, right in the heart of our district, to talk about what freedom, justice, and equality means in 2021. So we've got amazing resources here. I want to thank my county family for showing up. We're doing record expungement. We partnered with St. John's Well Child and Family Center, and we're giving vaccinations out. That's important because 42% of black people and 50% of our Latinx community right here in the second district are not vaccinated. So we will not get to community immunity until more people get vaccinated. Our last one is here providing uh, arts and crafts so kids can make Father's Day gifts. And we're learning all of the dances of the African diaspora. So it's a, a community event. We got RSVPs for 900 people. We're thrilled. It's both resources and information to help you be free in 2021 for our communities to experience justice and equality. And it's also a celebration acknowledging the significance of Juneteenth in American history. I'm proud to have the opportunity to host as really my first public event since being sworn into the Board of Supervisors.